Alt R. Hi, it's Dr. Robinson, and today I'm going to show you how to use a new AI program called Math Kicker. And I have a PNG of math in front of me right now, which is totally inaccessible to math students. If it's just straight text, yeah, you can typically use some type of program to turn the text into some type of words. But math has always been impossible, but no longer. Now, Math Kicker is uh, so far the only AI program out there that is totally accessible to a blind person. So when I was with the uh, blind student and uh, he opened this PNG, because the teacher went into the browser, of course, and did a snip and clip, drew her mouse over top of this math and um, saved it as a PNG, and then of course uploaded it to Google Classroom. Well, that's inaccessible to our blind students. And this is how the student made it access accessible using Math Kicker. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing that the teacher did. I'm gonna go ahead and do Windows Shift S, going into my snippet clip. I'm going to draw my mouse around it, and I'm going to put it through Math Kicker. Okay, here we go. Shift Windows S. Snipping tool overlay. Selection area change dimensions to zero by zero pixels. Selection area change dimensions to zero by one pixels. Selection area change dimensions to one by one pixels. Selection area change dimensions. Now let's go to Math Kicker. It's on my desktop, Windows M, M for Math Kicker. Open it. When it opens, it's going to be B for button, and you have three options. Convert PDF image file to DOC, convert PDF image file to HTML, and convert image to DOCX from clip. Windows M, loading page, open that new window, loading complete, new notification, do. permission notification, press F6 until you reach the notification, F6 permission allowed, allow map paper, it. iMicrosoft Edge personal, main region, convert image to, docs from clipboard button to activate, press enter. Downloading image to docs 75.2 KB file requires attention. Open. Downloading one files 100% complete. Downloads completed. Recent downloads group. Downloads. And I'm going to hush him up while he opens in Word. Viewing, viewing, viewing. You can only view this doc. Hush him up. You need F6. You need F12 and save as. Okay. I've just enabled. Viewing, viewing. You can only view this document. You do not have permission. Yeah. And it will tell you you can't do it. F12. 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 Save as dialog. File name. Edit combo. Image 2. I'm going to Alt D. Alt D. Save D O D M L O A D S. Downloads. Enter. Downloads. Toolbar. All locations. Split button. Alt N. File name. Edit combo. Image 2. Dot M A T H K I C K E R. Matt. I A T E. Image. Enter. Okay. Edit unavailable. Type in text. Edit. Okay. So visually, you're already looking at this going, wow, that is really amazing. I'm just going to click in the math just so you can see it. Math content 1 minus 3M plus 14. Don't we love that? Math content 5Y plus 2Y minus 7 plus Y. Okay. Math content negative 19 plus 4 minus 2W plus 7 minus 11W. Yeah, now visually, you can actually see that minus 11W is on another line. And you need to get this all even because you want this math to read out perfectly in a Braille display. You are going to change the margins. That's just Alt-P to layout, M to margins. And I have my set 0.3 all the way around. That's what I'm going to do. Alt-P and then M. Alt-P, upper ribbon, expanded, M. Last custom margin setting, top, 0 0.3, bottom, yep. 0, enter, ribbon, edit. Okay. So visually, uh, those people with sight are already looking at this math and going, wow, this is flawless math. And it is. And what's so great about this is blind students can do this all by themselves, yes, that quickly. Uh, so it, they're going to have to take a couple extra minutes when the teachers send a PNG. Some of people aren't really sure uh, because, of course, they're looking at the PNG thinking this is actual text. But when it says empty graphic, we know it's not. And this is an option for students now to make that inaccessible math accessible. And that is how you do a snip and clip yourself. The student on their set by themselves, they will actually use a PDF and look for the next video on how you save it as a PDF PNG or PNG and make that accessible. Okay, that is how you do a snip and clip. And that is gonna be for transcribers.